Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the cost of ownership for the Ducati Multistrada 1260 Enduro, as well as the major repairs that I've had to make, and what I would do next time if I was to decide to buy another Ducati. So first, I absolutely love the look and sound of the Multistrada, and I absolutely love the performance. I am struggling with the maintenance cost, however, which brings me to the serious beef that I have with Ducati. Why in the US do we only get a two-year warranty? One of my friends on Instagram notified me that they get a four-year warranty in Norway. So I looked it up, and yep, there it is. In all of Europe, the Multistrotas have a four-year warranty. In order to get the additional warranty coverage in the United States, you have to buy an extended warranty. That is ridiculous and seems to indicate that they have less trust in the equipment that they sent to the US. Now let's look at the parts failures that I have had on my bike. First, the fuel level sensor. This was a warranty issue and was replaced by Ducati. The issue that I had was that it would constantly show full, so I had to be really careful about not running out of gas. The way it acted, it seemed like the float was always sticking. The second thing was that the chain is eating the swing arm. This was not warrantied. The dealer was notified, however they could not find anything wrong with the bike, so no fix was made. I have replaced the stock chain with a very high-end DID chain for heavy powerful adventure bikes, so I am monitoring this to see if this fixes the problem. At this point, it does seem like that issue was corrected, so it could have been that the stock chain, even though it only had 10,000 miles on it, was excessively stretched. The third item was the head gasket. This was not covered by warranty because I took it to the dealership a few months after the warranty period ended. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I moved from California to Pennsylvania. So my bike sat in storage for three months, and when it was delivered, there was a small amount of oil in the back of the motor. I didn't think anything of it. I thought that the bike had fallen over or just a little bit maybe leaked out during transport. So I let it sit all winter, and then the next spring, when I started riding it, the leak was progressively getting worse. So I took it to the dealer, and by that time, it was out of warranty. That cost me $3,928.21 to fix, and the bike was out of service for four weeks during the repair. The fourth issue I had was the rear wheel bearings. This also was not a warranty issue because it was found just a few months outside of the warranty. Found seized bearings in my rear wheel, so I replaced them myself for a total of approximately $70 in parts, if I remember correctly. In addition, I have gone through two rear wheels and one front wheel. Each rear wheel costing approximately $230 and the front was $180. I also removed the wheels and took them to the dealer to be mounted themselves and so that was about $50 each. It is much more expensive if you take the bike to them to have them do the work. In regards to my bike, I have tried calling Ducati North America, but I have not been able to speak with anybody. I always have to leave a message and then I did receive one call back, however I missed the call. And then when I called back again, I left another message, I never received another call back. My friend in Norway recently sent me a, a web address to try and communicate directly to, with Ducati. So that is listed in the description below and I've also sent my questions and my concerns to Ducati. We'll see if they write back. He did state that they have responded to questions that he's had, so I am going to give it a try. If I decide to buy another Ducati, I will seriously consider an extended warranty, but along with that you have to consider downtime. The first shop I contacted for the head gasket couldn't get to it until the end of July. Granted this was March when I was trying to get it fixed and I couldn't take on any long rides because the leak was progressively getting worse. I ended up finding another shop that was able to start work on it in four weeks. Luckily, I didn't lose the summer season thanks to them. Oop, a little scrapey scrapey. Lastly, let me know your experience with your Ducati in the comments. Either good or bad. Maybe I got a lemon, I have no idea. My luck has not been great with this bike though. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content and to see how the saga continues to unfold.